Okay, let's look at another example and create a pattern. We have our image here and say that we really like the texture of this paper that we have. It's kind of like this marker has been colored on paper. It's a little bit of texture and um, let me switch to this arrow really quick so you can see this. Um, but we want to turn this into a pattern so we can use this on top of other drawings or other comps or other um, artwork that, we, that we're working on. So one thing we could do here is um, just quickly I'm going to create a new image. I'll just do image, duplicate, and so I don't, because I don't want to destroy my original one, I just want to make a duplicate of it, and I'm going to flatten this guy, discard hidden layers, and so I'm going to quickly just fill in the rest of the, um, the image with this. One quick way of doing it is just with a marquee, if you grab like a big area here, and uh, you could do control and alt and just kind of shift in some areas of uh, the texture. And now you can see that this is kind of tiling things a little bit, but we'll take care of that in a second. This is just a quick way to, f to fill in um, the area. Oops. Now with the clone tool, you can go ahead and just grab some different parts of the image and kind of reduce some of this patternness. You know, wherever your eye sees it, you can kind of go in and just fix it a little bit. I mean, since this is going to be tiled anyway, um, it's not hugely important that, um, that it looks tiled. You just don't want it to look obviously tiled. Um, and just to look for these little idiosyncrasies in the in the pattern itself because there isn't really that much room but when you're done you could do select all and we'll do define pattern and we could call this like brown paper and so what happens is this gets put into the pattern library so if we bring up our brush presets oh not our preferences preset manager you can see in our patterns that here is our new one if we mouse over that it says um, brown paper and one thing to test its um, its tile ability is just to make a new pattern so if we do an adjustment layer and do pattern it automatically selects the last one that you created right now this pattern is one for one because it's the same size that we grabbed the pattern and the scale is 100% so that means it's one-to-one -one with the texture of the pattern we just created and the scale of it right now but we're looking at it so we want to make it smaller to see it to see the tiling of it so if we set this to 50% you can see how it um, just tiled right there so here's our original here's tiled 50% and you can see that there's a little more texture in it than kind of this um, but it all comes down to how much time you want to spend on cleaning up your pattern and that kind of thing so let's go ahead and apply that pattern to an image. So here we got a little image of a robot and we're just going to do adjustment layer, pattern, and apply our pattern. It's just one to one right now so I think the scale works for what we're trying to do. And let's just set it to like multiply. And so what that does is just multiply on top of it and you can see that it transforms the feel of this drawing from being kind of just on white and plain paper to maybe it's on some sort of textured paper and then you could play with the adjustment layer some more maybe overlay so you can see what overlay is doing it's kind of just adding some of that grain on top of um, your drawing or the color which adds a little bit of texture to it as well so using patterns um, as like an overlay or multiply with a texture you can really do some neat stuff with um, treating some drawings and just kind of stylizing them a little bit so you can see what screen is doing. It's just taking all the white that is in that image and overlaying it. Um, but I'm going to leave it at multiply. And uh, that's it for this uh, textured paper example.